Hey guys, this is Sunny. Today I'm going to show you guys my Hackintosh laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron Core i5, the processor 3210M. Now, if you guys don't know, Apple Mini used the same CPU, same processor as the Dell Inspiron Core i5. Now, these are the mobile version, these are not the regular desktop processor. Now, the reason it was easy to install Hackintosh Mac Maverick 10.9.4, the latest version, because this thing have the same CPU as the Mac Mini, same speed as the Mac Mini. I'm using the 4 gig DDR3 RAM, it comes like that. Uh, now, I picked up this laptop two years back. This thing didn't come with the Core i5 processor. This laptop came with Selenor and I I recently I did some research and I seen this same laptop comes in a Core i5 version So I just found the CPU installing that was the easy installation I took the keyboard out, you know, switched the CPU and that was it so Now the installation <clears throat> was a little tricky the volume you just have to download the driver manually uh, the Wi-Fi card is not supported, so I use a uh, TP-Link, you know, TP-Link wireless wireless uh, dongles, and um, what else? And I didn't use Clover. I didn't use uh, MultiBeast. Uh, I didn't use any um, cursed anything. I didn't have to use nothing. The reason why? Okay, when I put the USB in it, install and it boot by itself and it took that uh, 4000 HD graphic and you know was working you know nice flawlessly. So what I did basically I had problem every time I was using a multi beast I had to uh, for some reason it wasn't supporting my kernel, my parse supply, I don't know where all this thing was like it was keep crashing. So basically what I did, I didn't use the multi -beast. I just let the laptop boot by itself and I use a part partition on the hard drive. Now one partition I named it boot. So what happened, I left the multi -beast there in the same USB that as you can see my wireless dongle right there. Now, I left the partition there, that's the same partition that we the we installed Maverick or you know hack and touch with I made a partition same partition so we night when the computer turn on it goes to that same stage of the installation it give you the option um, if you want to install or whatever and uh, from there what I do as you can see here processor 2.4 into Core i5 for gig RAM sorry guys it's not that clear um, <coughs> I'm using a Nikon D3 3200 not 3000 that was my old one as you can see right here is showing a macbook pro 13 inch intel hd graphic 4000 ram ddr3 and the processor okay and software 10.9.4 the latest so yeah so basically if you want to if you have a Dell Inspiron Core i5 uh, laptop you can easily install make sure use a uh, SSD I'm not using an SSD I'm using it because I just want to test it out I'm using a older Samsung uh, hard drive it's like 80 gig and I did a partition in it and uh, I installed I made a, a little boot recovery and from there I boot up and my FaceTime work my camera work my sound work only thing it doesn't work just mic so if I'm doing FaceTime um, I can hear you know the other side they can see me but I can't uh, uh, they can't hear me because my mic don't work so that's one bad thing and I also have to change my Wi-Fi card because it's not supported but you can buy the same card from eBay or Amazon for like eight dollar no, that's nothing. If you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any question, please leave the comment below. Thank you.